Early this morning, a convoy of buses and UN vehicles crossed the confrontation lines and arrived in Sarajevo with 150 of the wounded from Zepa. On board, men with injuries from the three-year siege of Zepa, along with women and children. Like Srebrenica, they brought distressing accounts of their town's destruction, then how it was abandoned as the Bosnian army retreated into the forested hills. The group were taken to Sarajevo's main hospital, already under great pressure from the city's own ordeal, another two dead and ten seriously wounded by more shelling in the city today. For at least one arrival from Zepa, the chance reunion with a friend, a brief moment of elation amidst the horror of this war. Meanwhile, further north, some one and a half thousand people from Zepa have so far reached the Bosnian government town of Kladanya. Most of them, mainly women, children and elderly men, had walked through the night across the confrontation line. The Bosnian Serbs had earlier bussed them out of Zepa. The United Nations wants to control this exodus in two ways. By giving the refugees much needed food and shelter, more crucially, they are compiling passenger lists to avoid, in their words, any repetition of the reported abductions and attacks that followed the evacuation of Srebrenica. The central Bosnian town of Zenica is receiving the first wave of Zepa refugees. Down a railway line beyond the city's steelworks, a patch of wasteland has been turned into a tented transit camp where the first 400 refugees will arrive. Two municipal buildings in the city have also been prepared to receive refugees, but the Bosnian authorities have refused access to the press. The fall of Zepa has been expected for many days. This will not be a repetition of the heart-rending scenes of squalor we witnessed two weeks ago outside the Tuzla UN base for the first of the 30,000 refugees from Srebrenica. We have mobilized our um, international humanitarian aid community as well as UNHCR to look into the special case uh, needs of this caseload. Uh, we have divided into five sectors our assistance programs, water sanitation, health, shelter, uh, food and logistics. And we believe we are prepared for the working figure that we've been uh, given by the local authorities. That working figure will be a total of 5,000 refugees, one-eighth of the number originally expected from Srebrenica. Zenica chosen by the Bosnian government, not the United Nations. We have everything available to meet the needs of 5,000 figure initially. And we've had very, very good cooperation with the local authorities. They're the ones who came to us for initial uh, requests for assistance. We have been um, cooperating with them. And all the information that we're getting is also confirmed by local authorities. The other advantage of Zenica is that the warehouses of many humanitarian organizations are located here. Supplies like these stoves ordered from local factories, therefore not a problem as they were in Tuzla. We are doing our best. We are supporting, UMPROFO is supporting UNHCR effort, and UNHCR is supporting civilian authorities' efforts. I mean, everything seems to be uh, working properly, and I don't expect a major problem. You can look at this. Meanwhile, amidst the rubble of derelict buildings on Mount Igman above Sarajevo, the Royal Artillery Gunners of the Multinational Brigade now have their headquarters for what they believe will be a period of consolidation, a long stay which one senior officer predicted will not be a quick fix. The military deployments on Mount Igman following last Friday's London conference on Bosnia and the decision by NATO to launch airstrikes preemptively against Bosnian Serb forces if they show signs of massing around the third eastern safe area of Gorizda, mean this should be the last mass outflow of refugees for the moment. UN sources also say they see clear signs that in eastern Bosnia, the Bosnian Serbs have halted offensive military operations as they work out whether or not to challenge the new UN military robustness. Nick Gowing, Channel 4 News in central Bosnia.